That was a fun battle. Okie dokie. Need to set up, uh, set up the wheel here. I'm getting myself a little discombobulated. There we go. <laughs> All right, so Floyd had purchased a ultimate challenge. So let's see what type of tank uh, gets picked here. Bennett here. Got your 10 tank destroyer. I'm going to have to play and do two and a half times the HP total. But uh, thanks again, uh, Will, for the uh, gift shop package and the couple fights we had here. Unfortunately, our, our fights, the, the flanks were, we always had one strong flank or one weak flank. But yeah, at least at least we got a win in that last one there. All right, so I need a tier 10 TD. I need to... Fix one other thing over here too. Give me uh, one second. Go. All right. So tier ten TD. Not that I have a ton to pick from when it comes just to TDs. Um, I'll go with the T one ten E three here. Uh, so I need to do. I thought about playing the Badger, but I just played the Badger, so I've got to do two and a half times the HP total, so 5,125 here. <laughs> I can change the, how the wheel looks a little bit. It's currently a little bit buggy because it's like a beta test for it, um, to where like the little ticker up top doesn't show anymore. It's just a blank square, but I'll, I'm going to try to fix it up a little bit. <laughs> I'm glad uh, you like the uh, like my articles and videos, though, Bill. I'm hopefully gonna I'm hopefully gonna be um, doing some map strategies here soon. I'm waiting for the test server to pop up, a, but also I need to uh, get a free camera mod that works. But now that I'm not uh, pet sitting, I have a little bit of uh, free time to do stuff again. I need a Levi White. <laughs> I've watched Wheel of Fortune, yes. <laughs> well, not just damage, though. I need to do that between damage, uh, assist, and block. I mean, like the other uh, challenges, so. If it was just straight damage, honestly, my challenges, it would be a lot lower. Like, I'd have to do, like, 1x the HP and damage and stuff to be cut you know, maybe one and a half times. A little bit scary, we only have a T-49 that looks like it's gonna kill it. Yep, it's, not, maybe it's not gonna kill itself. Um, but we don't really have that much in the center. I was thinking about taking a pot shot at him. But yeah, the challenge is, you know, it's everything combined that way. You know, it's not confusing for you guys and me to where, you know, if a tank has more armor, like, he might block more. If it has no armor, he might not block any. Same thing with, like, assist and damage. Like, not all tanks are equal in those things. So everything's just meshed together. That way it's easy for me to calculate and... I don't get terribly confused. I get a little bit confused, but... All right, I'm gonna take a risk because I have a lot of people on this side. I'm actually, that might have just spotted me here. Maybe not. Uh, I'm gonna try to push up here. Uh, they do have, mainly worried about their two tier 10 TDs, but they also have three tier nine TDs that have pretty good premium shells that can punch through, especially my lower glacis. This guy obviously thinks his armor is better than it is, and especially he's not angled at all. So I'm honest, this actually terrifies me a little bit that he's not dead yet. Um, I was just going to push out and let my team uh, basically rack up a bun bunch of damage from me spotting, but 
uh, I'm rethinking that because that took a little bit too long for that guy to die. Honestly, I can't really penetrate him unless I hit him in the little spot there. Uh-oh. T-30's shooting HE at me now. Now they're shooting APCR at me. <laughs> But for matches like this, I do, I have a little bit of wiggle room to where if I get it all through block like I am right now, I will bump it up a little bit because I don't like to get it just through block damage. Uh, I, can, I can hit him. Uh, I've got an HE round. Oh well. Yeah, now they're, they're HEing me down, which is... To be expected, like I knew I could get to this one little spot at the very least. He's actually angling fairly, ah, he's actually angling, that is really smart. He's angling off of that guy. But th thanks Floyd for the, the challenge though. Unfortunately, you know, my team's doing well here, but I got myself to a really, a really good spot here that I knew I could uh, get to where they can hit me in the lower plate. One person got me, but it's pretty difficult for them to pull it off uh, regularly. I'm going to try to get this challenge done without any block damage, though. Oh, that guy gets 1,600 assist. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for the challenge. I just got it done without block, too. This AMX-30B is still hiding up there somewhere. There he is. I'm gonna try to get him... Nope, I missed. Whew. Thank you, uh... Assassin for the host again. <laughs> nice to see you again over on Twitch. I hope your uh, stream went really well. I'm having a pretty good back-to-back -back matches here in mine. <laughs> Luckily that little that little divot there, like it's probably gonna change with World of Tanks 1.0, but you can hold down decently from both sides if you get yourself on the edge of the road like that. But I finally beat you, Floyd. <laughs> I uh, say so you have you up to you have up the Floyd TH right now on the the challenge board. <laughs> I'd say I eventually want to end up getting to the Conway. That's a really nice tank there. Oh, thanks again for the the host. But yeah, as far as the challenge here, uh, Floyd had challenged me. I had to get to 5,125 damage a system block here. And kind of like my last battle in the Super Conqueror here, um, I easily kind of blew a pass here. I got a steel wall, 3,300 damage, but I got 6,800 basically block and 3,500 assists. So. Pretty nice battle there. Thanks again, you know, for the ch uh, challenge, Floyd. That was that was a fun one there. <laughs> 